My name is Danny, and this is Fiona. And in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about seizures in birds. We're gonna talk about what a seizure is, um, what you can do for a bird that's having a seizure, and what your treatment options are. So to begin, a seizure is a neurological disorder that causes a brief surge of abnormal electrical activity in the brain. Um, and when a seizure is taking place, normal brain function ceases. Uh, so what you will see is a loss of motor function, uh, complete loss of consciousness. You may see um, the bird going through convulsions. They may flap their wings. They may scream. They may vocalize. They may defecate. Um, and there are three phases. So the initial phase is the aura phase. Um, and this is what leads up to uh, the actual muscle convulsions. In the aura phase, you may notice um, a sudden change in behavior. The bird may be disinterested in the environment. They may seem just kind of off. Um, and then in the ictus phase, you will see the actual loss of consciousness, the convulsions, the flapping. And this phase, while it's really scary um, to witness, tends to only last five to 30 seconds. Um, if you find it lasts longer than that or is lasting longer than that, you need to get the bird to a veterinarian immediately. Following the ictus phase is the post-ictal phase. And in this phase, um, you may see the bird is agitated. They may be um, very tired, very exhausted and lethargic. And this phase can last uh, for several hours. If you suspect your bird has had a seizure, um, you should get them to a veterinarian for an evaluation as quickly as possible. The vet will want to do a physical exam on them. They will ask you questions about their diet, about their living conditions, um, and their history. They may want to do testing such as uh, blood tests, a CBC, um, chem channel. They um, may also, in more severe cases, want to do EEGs or CAT scans or MRIs on your bird to try to determine the underlying cause of the seizure, um, to which there can be many. Um, anything from nutritional issues to uh, toxicities, things like heavy metal poisoning, um, neurological conditions such as proventricular dilatation disease, which attacks the central nervous system. All of these can potentially cause seizures and this is what your veterinarian is going to be looking for because that is what they will want to be treating. Um, they may prescribe uh, certain medications, anti-convulsing medications like phenobarbital, diazepam, or even potassium bromide to temporarily halt the seizures while uh, treatment for the underlying disease begins to take effect. Um, there are, there is the possibility that these seizures don't end up having a known cause, in which case they're going to be idiopathic. And this is where you'll have to try to just manage them. Um, the best things you can do for a bird that has seizures is put them in a cage that is a low cage so they can't fall from a real high height. You'll want to remove perches and toys and put padding down on the bottom. Also make sure they have their food and water easily accessible at the bottom of the cage so that they have that access to fresh food and water at any time. Um, if you find yourself in a situation where your bird is actively having a seizure, it's scary. Um, but the best thing you can do is just to leave them be. Uh, do not try to grab them or restrain them because you could end up doing more harm than good. You may get injured yourself or you may do some damage to the bird while they're in that um, seizure state. So let them be um, and once the seizure has subsided, get them to a veterinarian as quickly as possible. Uh, birds that have seizures can live a long and happy, healthy life um, with some precaution and monitoring uh, they will need more frequent vet visits than a bird that is not prone to seizures. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's that. Um, but 
just make sure you're, you're keeping close tabs on them um, to give them the best possible life.